Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be all about sublimation. So many of you have been asking me about where to get different type of sublimation blanks from. So today I got you covered. And of course I like to bring you great unboxings, great reviews, but more than that, great products that you can use for your business. So today I'm going to be unboxing some Silky Socks products. You can get them from their website or you can get them from Heat Transfer Warehouse. So I got two boxes of Silky Socks products and not just socks. They have shirts, underwears, hats. I mean, they have so many different things that you can use for your business. So I'm excited to really share this with you. And right out the box, we have the Silky Socks Press Guide. So definitely gonna be using that. So that way it'll give you all the instructions, the temperature settings, press settings, everything for you to get the perfect sublimation blank. All right, so let's see what we got. I'm gonna open both boxes at the same time because I don't know if it's some of the same products or if it's um, different products. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on your notification bells. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. And the comments keep me going. So definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below. Okay, first of all, we got a lot of stuff. Let me give you the overhead shot. Okay, let's see what's in the box. We have the shirts pack. I'm gonna open everything out later, but I just wanna hurry up and get through all of this because there's just so much in here. These are the no-show socks. Got some of those. We got some yoga headbands. Okay, he done hooked us up. We got the sports bras. Oh, come on now. We gonna supplement some sports bras. I'm getting back, that fell out. Getting back into my workout. So that will definitely come in handy. We got some Silky Socks underwear boxers. <laughs> Look at that. Some Silky Socks boxers. Underwear, it's a sample pack of 10. So this is everything that I have here is things that you can order. So I got two packs of those. Can't wait to see what's all in there. We got the sample pack. So this one is different from this one. So this is like white and black. I'm gonna open all this up. Let me just go ahead and open this up now. I'm gonna just take everything else out the box. I know what this is. These are the inserts for the, yep, the insert packs for the socks in order to supplement them. Gonna open that up. And look at that, we got our little Silky Socks Shark. Gotta find somewhere cool to put that. Thank you so much. So these are the athletic socks. As you can see, all the different colors. You can really do some cool stuff with this. These are the sample pack of socks. This has the, the black bottom. So I'm gonna open that up so we can definitely see the difference between. I have some more inserts. These look like they're much bigger than these. So that'll come in handy. Two different sizes. So I'm guessing these are longer socks. And I have another, so these are size mediums. These are size mediums. So let's open it up really so we can see more in depth. Gotta see what's really inside. Okay, what is this? Are these like, oh, so when you sell them and when you ship them off, this is nice. So you can package them in here so it can look professional. You can send them off to your clients, your customers. You can bag them up and put your socks right inside there. I like that. So these are the athletic socks, nice and thick. So whatever design you wanna choose, whatever color it has, you can match the bottom. You can do so many different things. So you can match the bottom of the socks, you know, with your sublimation design, or you can, you know, mix it however you want. So it comes in array. There's so many different colors. Look at that. Oh, come on now. My socks about to be lit. And then you just put them in the bags and ship them off. Okay, so we're definitely gonna be supplementing some socks. There's all different colors. I really like this purple. Really like the purple. All right, there's socks. Again, the link will be down below in the description box. I've never supplemented socks before, so I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay, and these socks come in medium and large. 
Okay, these say size medium. So I'm holding them up to the other pack that I had. And they look, oh, boom. The size is literally on the inside, perfect. So the size is right there, if you guys can see that, that M, no guessing game. Okay, and then it has a size large. So I have large and medium in my sample pack, awesome. So I was actually getting ready to say, the pink does look bigger than the orange. As you can see, it hangs down just a little bit longer. Hangs down just a little bit longer. So medium and large. So this is just a smaller pack of all the other ones. This one is the no show, really like these type of socks. So you can supplement these as well. And in here we have some regular ankle socks. Hmm, I want, do you still supplement the whole sock? Gotta find that out. So we'll definitely be doing some socks, doing some socks. I am gonna split it up. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna supplement today. I'm gonna do half today in one video and half in another video. So like socks, underwear in one, t-shirt in one. These are the white and black one. Definitely wanna show you. Okay, so we have some all white ones and these are the long high socks, athletic socks. Again, this is, so in this pack, I have three medium and three large. It says dress socks as well. And again, some more baggies. These must be the dress socks. Okay, so these are, these are really long. You guys see that? These are like your dress socks for when you wanna get those nice funky designs. And these are the athletic socks with the solid black bottom as opposed to the color. Or are these, the, no, these are the dress socks. Oh my goodness, there's so many different styles. So you have to go on the website to really know. Okay, so the rib where you see those lines at, those are athletic. Boom, got it. Those are athletic. And this style, because it says there's six packs. Blank athletic socks, black foot white top socks, six dress white socks okay so a great array a great style that they sell and then the bags are labeled as well for large and medium so you can put the um, the corresponding size in the correct bag so those are all of the socks let's look at the foam inserts You'll definitely need this in order to supplement the socks. So these are the, oh, and it came with a few. Perfect. So these are the foam inserts that you'll get when you order. That's one size. Let's see the other size. So these are definitely for the longer socks. I have some more short ones, but these are for those long dress socks. So you definitely need that when you place an order, if you place an order. So now I'm gonna get into the sports bra, open that up and show you what it really looks like up close. Okay, so these are the sports bras. Hope it's not blending in too much with the table, but um, really nice soft material. I'm trying to see what size this is. This is a size small, so this is what your size small looks like. And I'm assuming this is a size medium. Yep, this one is a size medium. So you can do a great all over print with these for your sports bras. You got your yoga headband. They trying to tell me something? They trying to tell me I need to go work out? Got two headbands in here, nice and wide. Supplement that, put your logo, put your brand, or put your print on there. Really nice, really nice headbands that you can supplement. What else we got? What else we got from Silky Socks? Silky Socks. I like the name. Okay. So in this packet we had underwear and boxers. Come on now, men, ladies. Look at these underwear. Look at that. Little boy shorts, girl shorts. 
Okay, look at the boxes. Oh, gonna make my son some nice little prints. I hope it's not too big for him, his little skinny butt. Make him something really nice all over design. That's what the boxes look like. There's a thing in the front, so I'm assuming that's the one for men's. Women's don't normally have that. Okay, these are the larger sizes right here. Okay, and they have that nice thick band at the top. Nice thick band. This is a size 2X. Mm. Size 2X for you big boys out there carrying a heavy load. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Okay, so ladies, if this is your, your niche, if this is your niche that you're selling, you know, underwear, sports bras and stuff, and you haven't heard of Silky Socks, I'm trying to get it open, definitely check them out for their sublimation blanks. Or if you're just looking for new things to sublimate, you're tired of sublimating the same thing, selling the same thing, now you can add some sublimation underwear to your business. These are the sublimation blanks for the underwear. Really nice, really soft. So it is silky, it has a silky touch. But their main thing is socks and they have all these other extra blanks as well. And last but not least, last but not least, their shirts, their shirts. Probably what most people are looking for because most people are trying to find the perfect, the perfect sublimation blank. And their shirts, I've heard nothing but great things about it. But this is a two-tone, first of all, let's just talk about the quality of the shirt. This is one shirt, and this is so thick. This is so thick, a great material. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, I really wasn't. I don't know if you can tell by the camera. I know this is 95% polyester with, um, I believe, 5% spandex. So this is 95% polyester with 5% spandex. So y'all see that stretch? Really nice. But the whole back and the sleeves are black. So completely different. But this is really um, a really great thick material. So you know it's not see-through. Versus, I just grabbed the first one I picked up. Look at this one. This is a Gildan Performance 100% um, polyester t-shirt. Um, just one I had laying around. But it's really lightweight not sure what the ounces is off the top of my head but you know that's what it looks like with the gildan and this is the silky socks i mean a, a really big difference as far as the thickness as far as the quality as far as the softness now if you don't want the black back you can still purchase regular silky sock t-shirt blanks you don't have to have the black back. That's different. That's unique. Not everybody has it. But if you want an all white, man, listen, this is just the truth. This is their white, all white sublimation shirt. So look at that. I'm excited because I'm always looking for great new blanks. So you have the black with the sleeves and then you have the all white. Perfect. Okay, so these are the shirts. I'm going to see if I can get the actual weight, but I'll have that in another video. Because even though I have these supplementation shirts that I cannot wait to supplement, I think I'm going to do that in a separate video and do that by itself. Do like an all over print, you know, something really nice with the back. So I'll definitely supplement these in an upcoming video. But today, for today's video, since the name of the company is Silky Socks, we're going to supplement some silky socks. How about it? Um, I'm gonna supplement one other item as well. I'll do some boxes for my son. I'll do some boxes, I'll do some boxes. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna supplement some socks and some boxes for my son. Let's get started. So I'm using my A-sub paper and I'm using the 11 by 17 because I need to fit a few images onto the sheet. And again, as always, this is my Epson Workforce 7710. I got to get me a new sublimation printer. I want to get one of the 
the larger format ones really soon. That's what I really need. And don't forget to mirror your image when you're doing sublimation. And I'm using Printer's Jack ink in this printer. Always use Printer's Jack. Okay, so I got all my prints. I'm gonna go ahead and cut on my heat press. I need to set this to 400 degrees. We're going to press and sublimate at 400 degrees. I got a mess going on over here today. I'm using my Heat Press Nation 16 by 20 auto open. So that's the one that we're gonna use. So I wanna do the dress socks. So I'm gonna have to see how long this is because it's clearly longer than 12 inches. It's about 15 inches, 15 inches long and about a little more than three and a half. So I'm just gonna go four because you know you want some bleed room. So that's how you measure all the socks. You're only gonna measure this part because the bottom is gonna remain the same color. That's not sublimatable, is that a word? So this one, I did this one at about, this one is less than seven. So I'll make it a little bit longer. Some of the socks are medium, some of them are large. So you just wanna do it based upon the size of the socks. Now this one is gonna be a really large print area. So from top to bottom, this was about 11, 11 inches in height. And from the furthest point, which I didn't do, I messed up, is longer than 12. So I hope I have enough space because I literally went like that and didn't go down. So you gotta make sure you measure it from the farthest end. Okay, so I have the black, I have the purple, and I have the dress socks. Those are gonna be the ones I do. I'm gonna use this insert. I'm gonna put this in. You wanna just spread it. Make sure it's good. Wanna make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. Just like so. I'm gonna insert the other one. Okay, so you definitely have to have butcher paper. So I'm just gonna cut out my butcher paper in advance. So I have that ready. Okay, I'm gonna lay my socks just like this. Again, my heat press is at 400 degrees, 400 degrees. And I am going to just see where this is at. Make sure I can get it nice and centered. What my words in the middle. I'm thinking, do I need to tape it down? I think I'm just gonna go with it. All right, just like that. I don't think I'm gonna tape it down because hopefully it doesn't move. I'm gonna cover it with butcher paper. Cover it with butcher paper. And I'm gonna take it down to 35 seconds because it does say do the socks at 30 to 35 seconds. So I have it on 35 seconds. I'm gonna slide that in. And now it says medium pressure. So I'm making sure I have medium pressure. And here we go. I think that's firm, but we're gonna leave it. I don't want it to pop up on me and shift the paper. Very important. Alrighty. You want to remove it right away. It's a hot peel. And let's check out our first sublimation socks. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, that was just the first side. That's really hot. All right, I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing. Slide in. Again, I'm gonna hold it so it doesn't pop up. Ooh. 
Look at that. Okay, that's the first one. First pair of socks. I really like the way those came out. Those came out so nice. And these are silky. Oh my goodness, they feel so nice and silky. All right, let's do a pair of socks for me. For me. Literally me and my son wear the same size like shoe. All right, again, that's where you see the size of the sock on the inside right there, size medium. I'm gonna go ahead and put the inserts into this one. Now this one, I got lines in my purple. I'm mad about that because of course that's not in my design. So there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm just gonna rock with it. But I guess I need to do more print head cleaning in my ink because I got these crazy lines in my image. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm mad about that. That's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's take these over to the heat press. Okay, same thing. Gonna lay the socks down. And I'm gonna make sure my girl is good. I'm gonna try to get that whole purple covered. I don't know if I'm gonna like how these lines look on it, but we'll see how it comes out. Okay, I'm gonna leave that just like that. You wanna get a new, a new butcher paper. Do not use the same butcher paper. Okay, let's see how well these did. Ooh, gonna have to turn that. I'll show you how to fix that. But that looks nice. It's a different purple than the sock. It's a different purple than the sock. Foot. Okay, so that's the only thing I don't like. So now when I turn it over, I'm gonna bring that in. See what I'm doing? Bringing that in because we want everything to supplement. So we want to try to bring it in just a little bit so we don't have no white. It's really hot. It's really hot. So I'm just going to bring that in just a little bit. And now we're going to do the same thing. My purple is really dark. Trying to make sure it goes all the way to the end. Gonna leave it like that. Hopefully I have everything covered. I should have had a little bit more bleed room. And I'm gonna leave it like that. And cover that. And close. Those gases are still releasing. That's why you do not want it to shift around. All right, remove that really quick. Still got some white on the side. So did not sublimate perfectly all around. Okay, so I didn't get everything. I should have pulled it over just a little bit more. So just learning, gotta perfect it, gotta perfect it. I'm gonna pull that out. Yeah, definitely. I could go back and supplement right there, but I'm not, only because I don't want to mess it up even more. I don't want one side to be darker than the other. So just got to pull those edges. I forgot to do it in the beginning. That supplemented it really close together right there. But I just love the way these socks feel. That's how these came out. For the first try, I didn't do too bad. But you see, I should have had my paper, um, much bigger. The next one we're gonna get all the way right. So just make sure your image is much larger than the sock, okay? Cause they do stretch out a little, they do stretch out once you put them on here. So I didn't even have that into consideration. All right, but that's the second pair. Okay, so this was the first two pair. Now we're gonna do a pair of dress socks and you need to use these jigs.
Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna make sure I pull, you know, over some because I wanna make sure I get a full sublimation all the way around. So you just wanna pull it up, pull the sides together on both sides. So that when, when so that way when you flip it, it's sublimated all the way around. This one I'm gonna do just like that. I'm gonna put them close together. Ooh, come on now. This was 17 inches. I need to make sure everything sublimates from top to bottom. Sublimation paper in. See those colors coming through and here we go here's the reveal oh those came out nice came out nice 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 dress socks all right i'm gonna turn it i'm gonna turn it and now i'm gonna pull it in just a little bit all right so let's see if i can line this up perfectly Put your paper, and here we go. Ooh. See how that shifted and folded in time. Okay, this is how these came out. You can see where I pulled it over a little bit. Got a little something right here on it, but these came out really nice with the black tips at the bottom. Okay, so these, these are the boxers, and this is my image. It's gonna be really hard to get the whole entire thing on here. So, I'm gonna do what I can. Tape it down. You see how that is coming off? So we're going to tape. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna tuck that under. Ooh. I'm gonna tape the sides. And I'm going to, I feel like there's gonna be a piece missing, but I'm gonna do my best. I don't know how it's gonna come out because the image is not big enough. So if it comes out jacked up, I'm only gonna do one side. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to flatten it as much as I can. Taping it down. All right, we're just gonna go with it and see what happens because yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna put this black right here so that way I can at least, so it's the crotch area. Ooh, butcher paper. All right, so let's just see how it comes out. I'm gonna put this one up to 45 seconds. I definitely see those colors. Definitely see those colors. Let's check it out. All right, it looks really vibrant, y'all. Looks really vibrant, but let's see the whole thing. Okay, not taking off the tape. Not so bad. I missed one little spot right there. I'm glad I added that black to the bottom, but as you can see, look at that. Just that one little spot right there that's missing, that is so hot, but those came out so nice. Over here got jumbled up as well. Ooh, let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm glad I added the black to the top for the band. So just have to have something wide enough. Just have to have something wide enough. 
if I had my image just a little bit wider, it would have been perfect. But let's go ahead and just do this. Add this one. So I'm going to add black right here. I'm going to add some black over here in the corner. So I'm going to add a little bit of black over here, just like that. Don't fall out. Don't want that to fall. Okay. Open it up. Okay, that's how the side came out still missing the white so because it's the same it looks okay on that side all right well I did the best I could with the size I had but that's the Roblox boxers Okay, so these are all the socks I did today. The athletic ones, both sides. I think they came out really nice. You know, I like this one better, my son's socks. And then I did the dress socks. So, so many different designs that you can do. You can make custom orders. You can really, really make a lot of money. So these athletic socks come in an array of different colors that you can choose from on the website. Um, you have your light gray, green, orange, yellow green blue wasn't it like some kid song like that so dress socks athletic socks you have the ankle socks i didn't do those but um definitely will be doing some of these and the no-show socks they range in price from i believe like four to six or something like that so definitely check the website the link will be down below in the description box as always again silky socks on heat transfer warehouse so you can search silky socks but i'll try to put a direct link but um, so many different blanks. You saw all the blanks I unboxed earlier. I'll be doing some of those later on. But these are how the little boxers came out. They came out cute. I could have done it a little bit better had I had my image bigger. I didn't take into account, you know, the bottom. So definitely make sure you measure it properly. But they still came out cause you Look at the little rope blocks. My son, I love those. I'm going to show him in just a second. Don't forget your inserts. You have to have the inserts to do the supplementation socks. So thank you so much for sending this over for me to test out. These are some really big, long dress socks. But I guess when you put your, your foot up them. So we'll see. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. I like the way they came out. I'm going to perfect it. You got to remember to move scrunch up the socks so that way you can get you know from end to end perfectly without any white showing behind but definitely let me know what you think down in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you've been looking for some great supplementation blanks look no further silky socks is at your disposal for you to use for your business and for your brand so that's how you supplement on your socks and on your underwear but i'll definitely be coming back doing a future video on the supplementation shirts the silky socks shirts the silky socks shirt that don't sound right but it's called silky socks so they're shirts especially the one with the black back and the black sleeves i'm definitely going to be supplementing that doing a nice all over print so you don't want to miss that video so definitely come back make sure you turn on those notification bells that way you're notified of all my future videos i have a lot of great things that i'm going to be sharing with you coming down the line in the next week or so i mean i'm rolling out a lot of great new products i have some more unboxings and I'm going to be showing you behind the scenes of my new clothing brand. If you didn't see all the boxes coming, definitely check out my shorts because I am getting ready to unpack, unload, launch my brand new business for my clothing brand for my son. And you definitely want to stay tuned for that because that is going to be a big, huge undertaking. The family is coming over. Hopefully they better be coming over this weekend to help me unpack, unload and put everything away. So I will definitely be vlogging all of that. I'm tired already just thinking about it, but I'm excited at the same time. So I want to share that whole process and journey with you. So stay tuned for that. As always, I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace and blessings. Bye.